hello guys and welcome back to linda's home and style and before we continue i've not been feeling so well so you'll excuse my voice for today like uh, if it is uh, rusty or something and uh, even before we get into today's video i just want to appreciate all of you yeah this channel is growing not because of me but because of all of us and uh, because of you sharing because of you subscribing because of you commenting i really appreciate and i just want to say god bless you all yeah so in today's video we just want to cook seven meals uh dinner meals for the family and uh, these are meals that uh, the whole family can enjoy both adults and kids and they are yummy healthy and easy to make they don't take a lot of time to make so if you're a working mom you can come from work and prepare these meals for your family and your babies if you are also a stay at home mom you can easily and quickly make these meals like everyone can make these meals for their family so guys enjoy and uh, just tune in eh? don't go away and again thank you for subscribing and keep subscribing eh? <laughs> to call me sweetheart it was different when we first met fast car with your hand on my headrest wow your voice was my favorite sound yeah i know i look good yeah i look fly baby i'm baby i'm just your type i'm a, i'm a baddie i'm a, i'm a baddie so guys we're just gonna start with one of my favorite meals and this is omena and uh, before i start cooking omena actually then i just let it sit in hot water like uh, maybe two times in hot water just to rinse alafu ni to uchafu yote before i now start the process of cooking alafu for cooking i usually just heat some oil then i put my dried omena like naitoanga ina kakidogo yo maji maji toke yeah and i'll just pour that in the oil and uh, like uh, fry it is it shallow fry or something yeah then i'll just add my onions yeah for omena i don't like adding spices i just like it natural i don't know why but uh, yeah that's that so i'll just put in my onions zikisha even it kanyanya ive and uh, basically that's it sometimes i could add a cube sometimes not i don't add ho hoes ginger and garlic in my omena like napenda to like Omena ile ya kisumu ile ya ocha yeah so that's what i was going for here and after that we just uh, made some veggies again with uh, ugali this is a very easy meal to prepare oh and we also added cooking cream yeah just to give it a creamy texture and a velvety taste yeah? and uh, this meal i just make it uh, with ugali and uh, skuma yeah it is very easy very affordable and also very healthy for your babies oh but now you say you miss me haven't seen you in a while since you did what you said you would never do to me well click click bang bang this sweet heart ain't so sweet broken heart in a skin tight black dress i can look good through the madness like I did before, before You had me on a leash and you liked that These puppy dog eyes now bite back so guys i don't know if you've noticed like uh, in vegetables like skuma we don't add uh, nyanya yeah we just fry it with kitungu and that's that alafu now here we are serving our omena and i'm telling you my boys really enjoying eating omena as much as i do yeah yeah it is one of our best uh, and our favorite meals in the house so guys here i just want to show you a very unique recipe of making minced meat and uh, potatoes mashed potato basically so what i do is just to boil my potatoes first using some uh, salt water and uh, mixed herbs yeah i like adding mixed herbs in my maybe potato wedges or uh, 
what can I see mashed potatoes yeah and I'll just let that to boil as I start on the minced meat and for minced meat I like cooking minced meat with white onions I don't know why but I think yeah I think it just brings a nice flavor to it sometimes I can even add a little red onion so that is what I'm doing here I'm just uh, cooking my onion and adding the garlic and ginger paste that we made in the other video you've seen it I don't play nice like I did before before it all went up in flames so after my onion ginger and garlic has cooked like uh, into a translucent paste I just add in my nyama to brown yeah this is minced meat i added just to brown and i also do add in just a little a little onion and beef yeah you know it eleanor and after that i'll just add some maybe soy sauce salt just depending on the day and uh, let it cook for a while you used to call me sweetheart it was different when we first met fast car with your hand on my head rest wow your voice was my favorite sound after your meat has cooked you just add your capsicum or hoho and you can also add your tomato at this point if you don't have tomato puree like me you just add uh, regular tomatoes that we make a takata and you just put let it cook for a while before now adding your carrot and uh, peas for me i like like making my meals to be so balanced and healthy yeah so that is why i added the carrot and uh, peas yeah yeah just to put more color for the kids more flavors and also just to improve like you just make sure it's balanced yeah we'll never do to me. We'll click, click, bang, bang. this sweet heart ain't so so by the time the meat was uh, finishing to cook uh, the potatoes were ready and it was time for me to mash them and uh, for mashing i just use milk or cream and uh, butter and uh, you just taste kama salt just add a little bit of salt and uh, for this meal i was going for like a shepherd pie theme yeah yeah so that is why i was uh, placing the potatoes chini kwa hii inaitwa nini casserole dish yeah yeah, I was just layering the potatoes down before putting the minced meat katikati. Alafu tena juu ke potato, like the mashed potato juu. Then I put some cheese on top, yeah, before placing it in the oven. And again, this is a very good meal for your kids. Like, it's different. So they are going to want to, like, uh, find out leo mami amepika nini or uh, such and again it's healthy it's balanced cuz unaona ni make peas ni make carrot yeah and a haina story mob very easy to make very simple yeah and uh, it's just uh, healthy and uh, nutritious and it's something different once again it's something different so for me mu mutaka like uh, ni ni, ni wape kitu different like ni si wabona the same meals every day yeah So like 10 minutes your pie is ready and you can serve and for this meal i just love enjoying it with tea yeah yeah so that is why mona tea apple candle and again you can see the cheese you can see like you may to pour and uh, this is something again i've said kids really enjoy and again you can see the layering like it go to sour eh? yeah on me on me to call me sweetheart it was different when we first met fast car with your hand on my headrest wow your voice was my favorite 
so guys this is the longest video i've ever made i think and uh, on this day now this is the third uh, dinner idea we were making meat just beef and uh, on this day since i had some extra time i decided to fast roast my uh, beef just to bring out the flavors yeah okay roast you it is different eh? like uh, without roasting yeah so that is what i was doing here just to roast it fast So of course after roasting I cut it into small pieces before now cooking it and again nilikuwa na taste mimi napenda kupika niki taste food <laughs> and I'm a junkie for meat I also love meat very much as much as I love uh, the home gadgets eh? napenda nyama sana 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 yeah so that is just what I was doing here chopping the meat up uh, before cooking it So guys, since I was going for a very rich uh, beef stew, yeah, I just uh, ended up throwing in the onions, ginger, garlic paste, and a uh, tomato and some leeks. Ho ho! In the blender, I added in some water just to like. Uh, I just wanted a rich, smooth paste, and then sipo nataka kuna particles kwa food. Yeah, after that, I just put in the crock pot. So on this day we were just making the beef stew with mboga kienyeji and ugali. So this is how I cook my mboga kienyeji. Vitungu, nyanya, oil, salt. Then I'll just place in mboga kienyeji again. For mboga kienyeji depending on the mood I'm in, I usually add like mala. If it is there, if it is not there, we'll just like uh, cook the mboga kienyeji without mala like if you're too kavu yeah you'll just see up on bele eh up on bele you've been missing from my day taking all weeks just to engage with me don't play with me it's something here just ain't right and i'm gonna need to hear you speak off your chest with all the So if you're adding mala to your mboga, just add mala yenye iko natural yenye haina sukari. So guys, here I had already realized that the crock pot will need like 6 hours to cook the meat to perfection, like ile softness nilikuwa nataka. So I realized I don't have that time because my son was so sick and he was just asking for soup. So as a mom, I transferred everything to the pressure pot. Nikajua hii tafanya vitu ziende haraka. Within 20 minutes the meat was ready. Yeah, you'll just see. Within 20 minutes the meat was ready. The soup was so ready, rich like the richness that i wanted and the meat was just uh like so soft for the babies to eat yeah and of course again i just have to taste my food mimi na nyama sisi ni kitu moja moja and uh, for this uh meal we just ate it with um, ugali basically meona ile video ya kutengeneza unga ya ugali yeah hiyo unga i just mixed it with the uh, unga ya duka kidogo njogo of course yeah and it was now time to serve eh, our meal you can see the soup is so rich very very rich this is what i was going for on that particular day i'm gonna need to hear you speak i'm gonna need to hear you i'm gonna need to hear you yeah, i'm gonna need mm. 
So guys, right now I think tunafika meal number four for dinner and uh, we are making fish today. And for fish, I usually just create a sauce or make a sauce. I don't create, I make a sauce and I was blending. Uh, so what you do, you just add your onion, tomato puree. If you have tomatoes, good. Yeah, it will just do. Uh, ho ho. Uh, yeah, if you have ginger, garlic, you just add. Then after that, you just pour it in a saucepan. Yeah, first of all, oil. Then you pour in your mixture that you've just blended. You let it cook, yeah, to simmer down, yeah, in eight to simmer down. You let it simmer down before now adding in your fish. Alafu hapa, since uh, I have the ginger and garlic paste in the fridge, I didn't like adding that uh, blender. So that is what I was doing here, just adding kidogo kidogo with uh, some salt and uh, let it cook for a while before now bringing in the fish like adding the fish and again guys i'll be sharing with you a video of how i prepare my fresh fish from the market yeah i'll be just sharing with you how i come home with it wash it and uh prepare it to just get that uh, golden uh, brown color yeah i'll be sharing with you your video soon so yeah just subscribe and again for this meal we just made with the uh, skuma and ugali basically for fish mimi fish na tengeneza ngana skuma na ugali ama mboga ya kienyeji ama mrenda <laughs> yeah so for here tulitengeneza tu na skuma and again you've noted that uh, skuma yetu we don't add uh, nyanya we just uh, fry it with some onion and we are good to go So guys, now that our ugali was ready, it was now time to serve our dinner. And again, this is a very healthy meal for your whole family. Like it cut across the board, like the babies, uh, the adults will enjoy this meal. And voila, this is the finished product. So today we want to make chicken. And again, I like making my chicken very healthy. Chickens. I like making my chicken very healthy. I don't add oil. I don't like deep fry most of the time unless it's a special occasion. Yo, need a deep fry. If you've watched my videos, you not like the only chicken I've ever deep fried ni moza. Yeah, ila KFC video. So here I was just coming in with my lemon and my isn't it waje, my, my spices, yeah. Ginger, garlic, paprika, onion powder garlic powder, soy sauce, um, uh, white vinegar, oyster sauce, some, uh, what do you call it, some barbecue sauce. Yeah, you just uh, mix this all up. Again, mixed herbs. Mixed herbs eko sangi na lemon herbs eko sangi. Yeah, so you just mix all up. Eka kando, kata kuku yako, eka ndani, let it marinate for like a few hours. Yeah, before now cooking it. <music> So 
So guys, this fat chicken, yeah, I usually buy at Naivas in Nakuru. Yeah, Nairobi, like... And Nairobi, like being in Nairobi is so good. Like Mkona City Market, you can get like a variety of uh, protein in one particular place. Nakuru, that's a bit of a challenge for me, yeah? Yeah, so after the marination was complete, I, I just placed the chicken in the grill. And again, I love using medium heat for cooking my chicken. Because again, so you may marinate. If you put high heat, it will burn. It will burn so bad. And again, nilisa how kueka, like kulea the pan with oil first. So my chicken on this day burnt kiasi kiasi, but uh, what to do? I was just having a rough week with the sickness and all, but uh, it cooked perfectly. So for this machine, you'll just pre prep it first. Yeah? You'll just set it on first, then it will do its work of uh, heating up. Then it will tell you when to add the food. Control the way you feel with me. But I can tell that somebody else is on your mind while you're still on mine. Tell me everything like how she makes you so happy. I'll listen patiently for you before I so guys, again, midway through, I usually just add the barbecue sauce on top. Then I flip my chicken because, again, it will let you know when the time to flip has reached. It will beep and then I'll let you flip, flip. So that is what I was just doing here. And you can see the chicken was burnt. Yeah, skin libaki kwa plate because I didn't prep the pan before cooking. My kind of party, no drinking, just conversations and thinking I like Guys, for this kind of chicken, we usually just uh, make it with rice and some cabbage. Yeah, just to make sure the meal is balanced, yeah. And again, I think more of a cabbage in my other videos. That is the only, like, uh, <coughs> way I make my cabbage. Because I don't cabbage to eat cabbage. I don't want to eat cabbage. I won't enjoy the cabbage. So that that is why I prefer making it like a salad like this. And uh, we just enjoy it with our chicken. And again, very healthy meal. This is a meal both you and your babies and uh, the adults in the house can enjoy. And it's so easy to make. So guys, now we are starting on the sixth meal, dinner meal for the week. And again, most of my videos we share this uh, 23 minutes mark. So today I'm just uh, stretching and going out of my way to just do a whole meal plan for dinner. Yeah? And uh, today we were making uh, fried rice. And for me, fried rice, it has to have color. So uh, capsicum, green, yellow, red, carrots. You just fry them up first, then you add in your rice. And again, for fried rice, I usually add already boiled water in my rice. Salt, again, is very important. Yeah, I stuck you add uh, like cold water. It afanya the rice to be so soggy. So that is just what I was doing here. And this day, I also added a cube, beef cube, just one. Yeah, to just give it some extra flavors and color. As the rice was also cooking, it was now time to make my stew. And uh, today we were making beef stew to go with the fried rice. So for starters, pressure pot, very important. Saté function, onions, ginger, garlic paste. After that, you just add in your beef. And uh, for beef, if you're going to uh, do like a potato stew, like potato beef stew, you just need to cook your beef first. Yeah. You cook your beef first for on pressure for like 15 minutes now. 
you release the pressure then you add in your potatoes that is what i do and that is what i did here so after placing in my meat for like uh, the first 15 minutes yeah on pressure i release that pressure donika add uh, my potatoes so as uh potatoes is uji 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 sana yeah because if you're gonna like put your meat and potatoes to cook for the same duration of time potatoes zita zita turn they'll be so mushy and uji yeah So this is what I was saying, yeah. I've already cooked the meat for like 15 minutes. I've released the pressure and uh, of course, let me taste. Mimi na nyama, me taste. So that is when I just come in with the potatoes and carrots. Add Again, I just uh, like add a little soup if need be. Because mina jom kipika na pressure pot, like uh, soup e kwangi absorbed. So uke kama jimob, your food will just be watery. And after a while, it was ready. Like, I think eight minutes on pressure, the potatoes were ready and it was now time to cook the cabbage. And uh, um, now I just want to show you how I make my cabbage onions, vletuni mawasho, onions, uh, carrot, and uh, cabbage mixed. And it's so simple to make. Ni mawambia spendi nyanya kwa cabbage. Yeah, this is just so easy to make. It tastes like a salad. Yeah, and... Uh, since it has the carrot, it's sweet enough for the babies to enjoy this cabbage. So I think that is why I stopped making um, cabbage ya nyanya. Yeah, because I realized my kids really fancy e this type of uh, steamed cabbage more. And uh, now it was now time to serve. And you can see the fried rice with the beautiful colors in it. Alafu potatoes na nyama. Yeah, and uh, the potatoes were a little bit cooked like ilitan ujiki dogo but me i still enjoyed this meal regardless and then um, yeah so guys now let's make the seventh meal and uh, we are just making regular beans rice and cabbage on the side and for me if i'm preparing beans already mna juanilisha tengeneza beans in bulk iko kwa fridge so it is just very easy to just take like bag moja ya, <coughs> ya beans and cook so that is what i did so first of all onion um nyanya salt cook that for a while then you just add your capsicum again for beans i really like adding capsicum and carrots yeah so that is what i do <coughs> Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do Take on my phone, one second right to you I'm really bored Please don't ignore Started as fun, now I'll randomly so once your carrot has cooked down it's now time to add in your beans and for me i usually just add my beans yeah just mix up on any like i make sure like everything is mixed up properly then i just add a little water for soup because again i don't want us to eat like uh, dry beans i love if it's so dry the beans won't cook and then it will burn yeah no, you love rainy days and you still live at home it's cool to see you're real with me. Oh, no, we've never met and things like this never So here again I was just preparing rice and again if you've noticed rice is a staple in our house because uh, for all these meals that we've made Google uh, nimbili too like for two days yeah for two dinners so yeah rice is uh, a staple in my house at this point i guess because of the kids are just growing and uh, they prefer rice to ugali currently i hope waki kwa big boys wata draw ugali ndio kila kitu yeah and again we just made with the uh, carrot salad uh, cabbage salad and served now guys we've reached the end of the video and uh, i just want to say i'm grateful for you being here and uh, let's grow together keep subscribing and uh, let's keep supporting each other in our different journeys <laughs>